Okay, so if you're watching this, you've probably uh, bought one of these, and this video has, so thank you very much, this video has three parts. Uh, one of them is uh, how not to break this, uh, how not to break the acrylic pieces. Okay, so after that, I'm gonna talk about general strategies for building it. And then after that, under these labels, I'm gonna show you what the actual, uh, what the actual answer is to how to place the acrylics, okay? So if you don't want that spoiler at the end, just don't watch to the end, I'll, I'll warn you before that happens. Uh, so the first thing about these acrylic things, they have some weak points. They're weak here and here and here. So this is one triangular face right here. So when you push them, don't push on the ends because, uh, or pull, because they, they will probably break here. Um, so that having said that, you do need to uh, maybe wiggle them a little bit like this, and then you can you can pull them up from here. So the whole thing comes apart like that, okay? It's just tension fit, nothing else. And what you want to do is uh, you want to, oh yeah, so, <laughs> okay. So that's, that's how not to break it. Uh, now I'm gonna talk about the general strategy for building it. What you want to do is build the hexasticks first, so that's this part. You can either figure out how to how to build it yourself or go to my website, geoburst.ca, on the front page. There's a video of me making one of these. That's the basic strategy. Uh, somewhere, I think, I think it's all, it also links to my other website, which has um, uh, picture instructions on how to build this. Basically, you're going to build it with uh, elastics holding these down. And once it's all built, then you're going to have to... Um, yeah, you're going to have to actually uh, possibly move one of these directions of sticks over by one by removing sticks and putting more back in. So it's complicated uh, and it'll take you probably a long time, especially the first time, but it's a puzzle and that's why you have this thing. So, okay, so that's um, that's your basic strategy. Uh, once you've done that, then, then you have to... Um, uh, place these these uh, a little bit more strategy here. You're going to place these triangular faces side by side, and you'll notice, for example, if you look straight on at these ones, well, I can see this here. This is a little higher than this. If you were just to place these side by side, um, so you'll you'll hopefully be able to lay them out all out on the table and find find the actual um, the mat for the octahedron uh, that is like the the, the stretched out version. Okay, so once you've figured out uh, where the where the markings on these things are supposed to be, they have they have different different markings. Then you start to slide them gently over the hexasticks uh, sticks here coming out of the hexasticks. Um, okay, so now I'm going to reveal I'm going to reveal the actual answer. Uh, so if you don't want to know how this thing goes together, then you should uh, stop watching the video now. Okay, here goes. So under these stickers, under these four, this is, I don't know if you can see, that's three dots. That's three dots. One dot, one dot. Okay, that's how those ones go together at the top. Flip it straight over the opposite vertex. These ones also have dots under them. This is where my name is. Two dots, two dots four dots, four dots, okay? Uh, I don't know of, I don't know how else this thing goes together. Um, the ones with two dots, the, uh, this is two dots and this is two dots. These are exactly the same. You can interchange them, it doesn't matter. And, uh, and that's it. So under these labels, there's nothing. There are no dots here, okay? Uh, so it sort of has this belt and then dots here, uh, odd number dots here and even number dots over there. And yeah, so once you've done that, just uh, tie some fishing line or thread to it and hang it up, and there you go. The tetrahedral symmetry, I should mention, uh, here's, um, so if I were to push this up and push this up and push this up, then, um, and push this down, then I would have the points of these being the vertices of a tetrahedron. Uh, so if you don't do it right, you may have to flip a couple of these, uh, a couple of these sets of sticks by taking each one out, turning it around, and putting it back in. And there you go. Good luck.